Good morning, it's Carol from Glass Art Diva. We're just at the end of our little Christmas bird. And if you remember at the beginning, we talked about the pattern, how we were going to set it up, changes and modifications, adding, deleting, picking out the weak points, making them stronger. So here's where we're at right now. We have the bird. So in the original pattern, let's see if I can bring it in for you. We had a little uh, pom-pom here. Well, the pom-pom would be too, too heavy for this little small spot of solder that it would have to stick to. The glass is a little tiny here. Now we could have added restrip to it and then added the pom-pom. Well, I tried that. I tried with the restrip. Remember, it's that um, thin piece of copper, very flexible, and you put it in hinge joints or when you want to add stability to a piece. So I tried it, and it, it just did not look pretty at the end of it. So I decided to take a piece of wire and add it to the uh, to the hat. And then I embedded it along the edge of the hat and up into this um, part of the hat, into the bead of the hat. So now it's got, it's really strong. The next thing I did was I just added a little bit of decorative soldering to the hat and it's just a, uh, just little drops of uh, solder and it's, um, it's 6337, it, it's, uh, small as you can see but it drops and cools very quickly so it's easy to work with when you want to do decorative soldering uh, next I the other day I added the eye by doing the same thing as I did here and then embedding it in here and then I just dropped a, a bit of solder onto the eye to give it a, a little um, depth the next thing I did was I finished off the hollies and I added a little decorative soldering here, and that's just pretty easy. You just take the corner of your iron and just quickly dab, like so. And it kind of gives you that sparkle. Now, on the back, you'll see where I've embedded the wire here all the way across. So now it's very secure. In our original pattern, we talked about the legs of the bird. But in retrospect, and as I'm looking with, at, with the bird, the bird itself is very heavy. And if you were just to add some wire to create the legs, the legs will not be strong enough to hold up the bird. So I decided I'm foregoing the legs and I'm just gonna rest the bird on the branch, solder the body to the branch here and here. And now it's all one piece and it's nice and sturdy. The next thing we need to do is add the, um, the hooks to it or the rings. In the original pattern, it did not have any place to make a to put the ring and I wouldn't advise putting it at the top because it's just a simple piece of foil that's holding this here and over time the weight of this piece because it is fairly heavy will pull away from that foil and pull it down now one of the things I could have done is taken a piece of wire probably 18 gauge this is 16 probably 18 gauge make a circle in it and then at each end embed the wire into the um, to the top of the hat. That would have kind of given it a chunky feel to it. So what I decided to do in the original pattern, the hat is all one, and I split it out. So now on the back here, I'm going to add the rings. So when you add your ring, make sure that you're gonna embed the join in the ring. You don't want it to, cut, to separate somewhere down the line and um, break and then the bird would fall off its perch. 
So what I do, and again, because I have shaky hands, I'm resting my hand on the table. I flux both the ring and, and the, uh, the spot where I'm going to add it. And I'm just going to embed it at the join into the, um, into the bead behind the back there. It takes a few seconds because it is metal. It needs to heat up. So again, making sure that I am going to embed the join into the, into the bead, I'm going to add this here. And just hold it. See, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. There it goes. And just hold it until it cools. Now in this particular case, I'm just gonna add an extra little drop of solder just to make sure that I've got a good bead on top of it and that it is going to not fall off. And pretty it up make sure that it's important that your the back of your bird looks just as nice as the front of the bird for soldering for your lines your beads so I always make sure that I look it over thoroughly when I'm done now one of the things that I do do is I run my hand across everything and I notice that sometimes when I do I will feel a prick and this is where um, I saw one here earlier right here there is a little tiny piece of solder sticking straight up so I'm just going to smooth that out so I'll just a little flux I'll touch it for a second heat it whoops and a lot of the times that that pick is caused by pulling up and not pulling away so again, the same idea on the back. I feel around, I look for anything that could be touched up that needs uh, a little extra solder or it's too thick, too much solder. And in this particular case, I just wanna touch that little spot at the back here just to make it look just as nice as the rest of the bird. There we are. My last step is now to patina. And I will start that video for you shortly and uh, talk to you soon. Bye now.